SpaceX has achieved another significant milestone in its ongoing preparations for the next flight test of the Super Heavy prototype, known as Booster 9. CEO Elon Musk has hinted that this eagerly anticipated event could occur in the near future. Recent reports have highlighted an unexpected impact on local wildlife resulting from the initial test flight of the Starship, SpaceX's cutting-edge spacecraft. While Starship is almost primed for its next flight, the company still awaits the necessary clearances before proceeding with its second launch. In anticipation of the forthcoming Starship launch, SpaceX conducted a recent static fire engine test, igniting all 33 Raptor engines on Booster 9 for a brief duration. This successful test took place at SpaceX's Starbase test site in Boca Chica, Texas, precisely at 1535 EDT on August 25. Static fire tests are conducted while the rocket is securely tethered to the ground, ensuring it remains stationary. This procedure allows engineers to meticulously assess critical pre-launch checks and prepare the rocket for takeoff. Sharing their excitement on Twitter, SpaceX announced that the Super Heavy Booster 9 static fire test effectively ignited all 33 Raptor engines, with the exception of two, which functioned as intended for the entire duration. Kudos to the dedicated SpaceX team for this remarkable achievement. Accompanying this announcement, the company released footage showcasing the test fire. This marks the second time SpaceX has conducted a static fire engine test on Booster 9. The initial test took place on August 6, during which the Raptor engines ignited for a mere three seconds, and four engines ceased functioning prematurely. The recent static fire test represents one of the last technical verifications required before the second test flight of the Starship can proceed. Nonetheless, SpaceX faces additional regulatory challenges that must be surmounted before the Starship can embark on its next journey into the skies. To enable the second test flight of Starship, SpaceX must secure approval from the Federal Aviation Administration FAA. The FAA is currently grappling with a lawsuit filed by an environmental organization following the aftermath of Starship's inaugural launch. This launch resulted in substantial damage to the launch pad and the scattering of debris across a wide area. In an effort to address safety concerns, SpaceX has submitted a comprehensive report to the FAA outlining the myriad modifications implemented since the explosive conclusion of Starship's first test flight. The FAA's decision to grant approval for the upcoming launch hinges on its assessment of SpaceX's adjustments, a deliberative process that might extend over several weeks. Musk revealed that SpaceX has undertaken well over a thousand alterations to Starship's design. These adjustments include the incorporation of a novel vented interstage and the installation of a heat shield atop Booster 9. These enhancements facilitate a hot staging separation, reducing thrust loss during the separation phase. Speaking optimistically, Musk remarked, I am considerably more confident about the success of this next flight and its ability to reach orbit compared to the previous attempt, perhaps around a 60% likelihood. Upon the eventual occurrence of the second test flight, SpaceX's innovative water deluge system and fire trench will undergo a rigorous assessment. As Starship ascends into the sky, it will engage its engines for an extended period while stationed on the launch pad, serving as a comprehensive trial of these new systems.